Hi class, we are going to go through um, multiplying and dividing algebraic fractions in this video. So I have two examples written out. The first one is multiplication, the second one is division. Um, you'll be happy to know that these are considerably easier than adding and subtracting the algebraic fractions. So um, they are the examples from the notes that I've emailed you. Uh, so they'll look familiar, but um, I think it just helps when you have them worked out step by step so you know what's happening in each line. Now there's one thing that I am going to do slightly differently is I'm going to factorize straight away. Uh, the main thing that you need to recognize is you're multiplying everything here. You can't go ahead and say, oh well, 3 goes into 27, I can cancel that 3 and that 3. You can't do that, but you can cancel when you have the same things in the diagonals okay so that's the key here if i was to say to you 2 over 4 multiplied by um let's say 4 over 17 the 4 and the 4 would cancel and i would get 2 over 17 as my answer we're going to follow that same process here um so before just as i'm going to start I'm going to uh, factorize, sorry, factorize everything as best I can. I won't be able to factorize everything, but whatever I can factorize, that's what I'm going to start off with. So I'm going to have a look here, and I have 3x squared minus 27, so I'm going to factorize this, and I'm going to say 3 times x squared minus 9 over, um, and we're going to have some brackets here. And in here, we're going to factorize this quadratic. So we have 4x and x. So there are my factors here. And then I'm going to look at the 9. So I'm going to have 3 by 3. 4 by 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15. And both of these are going to be negative. I'm now going to multiply. I can't factorize here. There's nothing in common. So I'm not too concerned about that, even though I have just put a bracket in. But... Uh, there shouldn't be a bracket there. So, if you can't factorize, don't worry about it. Keep it the way that it is, and we'll work through and see how we get on. And then the bottom here, I am going to factorize. I'm going to have x times x plus 3. So, I'm going to have a look and see, is there anything that I have in common? There isn't really, but I haven't factorized this fully. I didn't want to do that in two steps. So, you might recognize this as the difference of two squares. Um. I have one thing in common. So I'm going to factorize this further. And I'm going to have x plus 3, x minus 3, over 4x minus 3, x minus 3, multiplied by 4x minus 3. And then we have x times x plus 3. Now you can see that there's quite a few things in common. I'm going to grab a different color pen here and I'm going to go through what I can cancel. So I have x plus 3 here, I can cancel that with this x plus 3 here. I have 4x minus 3 here, that can cancel there. And these two, I know they're on top of one another and I said diagonally, but you can cancel these because if you have a fraction where above and below are the same, it's essentially 1. So what I'm left with then is the 3 up here and the x down here so my answer is we and we're still going to do multiply top by top so i'm left with 3 over x so that's that sum broken down step by step factorizing cancelling to the best of your ability and um, for the next one it's dividing um refocus this slightly. so with this one um, I'm not sure whether you remember, but you can't actually divide fractions. So what you have to do is you have to invert the second one and multiply. So say, for example, if I take the first one that I have up here and I say 2 over 4 divided by 4 over 17. I can't do that. So that would become 2 over 4 multiplied by 17 over 4. You only change the second one, okay? Now I can just ca cancel here if I want to, so that goes in here. And I'm left with 17 over 8. So you're still multiplying top by top, bottom by bottom, to get your answer. 
So in one line here, I'm going to keep my first uh, term the way that it is. I'm going to invert and factorize all in one go. And I'm going to change my sign from divide to multiply. So I have x minus 5 over x plus 1. That does not change. Multiplied by. This now becomes the top of my uh, second fraction. So I'm going to have x plus 3 and then x plus 1 um, divided by x plus 5, x minus 5. I'm hoping at this stage that you're learning to recognize the difference of two squares and factorizing quadratics. Don't worry about doing them all in one go. It's not about speed here. I'm just doing it for handiness sake. But if you need to go and work them out separately, go and work them out. That's fine. So now I have everything factorized. I have my sign changed. I have this flipped. And now I'm going to see what I can cancel. X minus 5, X minus 5. X plus 1, X plus 1. So my answer is x plus 3 over x plus 5. So for the most part, you're going to be left with quite a nice sum. Um, if you have any questions, you know the story, just drop me an email, okay?